How's it going everyone, it's Vivi and welcome back to another Ratchet & Clank video. So this time, let's discuss planet Velden. When looking at this planet, some questions pop up, right? The major one being, who raised Ratchet on this planet? Let's put aside the reimagining, alright? We're looking at the classic Ratchet & Clank game. Now Ratchet, he was born on Fastoon, a planet which the Lombaxes lived on, until Tachyon caused terror. After the Lombaxes were sent to a different dimension, Ratchet's father Caden sent him to the Solana galaxy, or more precisely, planet Velden. How did he get there? A ship set to autopilot, most probably. Now why didn't they all escape? Tachyon's Wrath at the Court of Azimuth. That's where the Dimensionator was used. And what I mean by all is Ratchet's family, father, mother, and son. Why didn't they all escape together? Well, for some reason, his mother was not at the Court of Azimuth. She was home for some reason. Well, maybe not home, but somewhere other than the Court of Azimuth. Now, Caden refused to leave his family behind. He went back, but was too late. Now, what I'm thinking is, Ratchet's mother hid her son to this place where only Caden knew about. Maybe a letter or a hint, something like that. He followed the trails and found Ratchet. And what he decided to do is to send his son to a different galaxy. Now, why planet Velden out of all places? Because to me, it seems like the Lombaxes knew planet Velden. It's as if the Lombaxes like these deserted places. Well, no, the planet is not deserted. I'm talking about a desert planet. My bad. Just looking at these two places, they're very similar. A lot of sand, a lot of dryness, a lot of high-tech structures. Especially looking at up your arsenal version of Velden. It's as if Lombax technology was left behind to rot for years. Who knows what they were doing on planet Velden. Maybe they had a bunch of different factories around. Well, talking about uh, factories, the Lombaxes did have this thing called the Center for Advanced Lombax Research, which was spread around the Polaris Galaxy. Is it too crazy to say that maybe they wanted to expand, maybe try and put these places into different uh, galaxies? The Solar on a galaxy being one, planet Valden being the first. For some reason, they halted construction, and they just gave up with the idea and left everything to rot, pretty much. Well, maybe Planet Velden was an active place for research, until Alistair Azimuth betrayed the Lombaxes. After that, everything went haywire, and that could explain why they all left Planet Velden. Now, the center of advanced Lombax research. Maybe Velden was the safest planet out of them all. I mean, Recon 5, not too safe. Same goes for Sargasso. Now, of course, this might be completely false, because this the center of research was spread throughout the Polaris galaxy, not the Solana galaxy. But something tells me the Lombaxes did step foot on this planet one time. Now the Kizil Plateau, where Ratchet lived, more precisely, it was known as the capital, and that's where I'm thinking that Lombax technology was present. Now was planet Velden deserted? No. Now of course it was one of the least populated planets in the Solana galaxy. In the comics, we see a bar in Kizil Plateau. Maybe this business was set up afterwards because they knew that Ratchet lived on this planet, I don't know, maybe to bring in customers, you never know. In talking about businesses, a Quark drive through appeared at the Kizil Plateau as well. Now I'm assuming this appeared afterwards, after Ratchet and Clank 1 of course. And do not forget that Nefarious had targeted Velden due to its population. It might be small, but he was interested with Planet Velden. Okay, maybe he was going after the mutated creatures, the frogs and all that. But still, just the fact that Caden sent his son to that planet specifically tells me that the Lombaxes liked this planet for some reason. Well, at least knew about it. Caden knew that someone would find his kid. And by the way, why didn't he travel with Ratchet? Due to the risk of getting killed by Tachyon. It's better to save one, instead of both getting killed. So Ratchet lands on Velden, he grows up, and at a certain age he starts looking up to Quark and Ace Hardlight. He wished to explore the galaxy. He didn't want to be a hero necessarily, like the reimagining. He just wanted to explore. He was a skilled mechanic. How and when did he figure this out? We have absolutely no idea. Like, who influenced him? Who gave him the idea? What inspired him? Was he watching TV? Maybe. He lived in his garage. Who made that garage? We don't know. Which I have to admit, by the way, that uh, it looks much better in the reimagining. He somehow knew how to build a ship on his own, which missed a robotic ignition system and which apparently according to the goodies section of the first game was held together with gum and wire. 
Too bad he wrecks it so early in the game, we wanted it to be a real homemade job, held together by chewing gum and wire. We still can't agree on exactly why he crashed it on Planet Novelis. So wait a minute, is Ratchet really the best mechanic in the world? I mean chewing gum? Maybe not. Here's the theory. Why did Ratchet crash a ship on Novelis? I'm gonna say that maybe the Zoni were behind it. Orvis, the leader specifically, also known as the creator of Clank, aka his father. Now the Zoni can see into the future. Orvis created Clank at Drax Factory on Core 2. Orvis wanted. He knew that someone would become friends with Clank. Someone who would look after him until it was the right time to become the senior caretaker of the Great Clock. But deep down Orvis wanted his son to follow what he wanted. Here's another one. What if Caden met the Zoni, Orvis, just like Captain Darkwater, who was given a Fulcrum Star? Now this took place most likely before Ratchet started his adventures. Maybe Orvis told Caden to send his son to Velden. And if Caden is alive, maybe Orvis is behind it? Maybe he told Caden to not go after his son because he saw into the future. If he would go after his son, he would disrupt the timeline and the galaxy would perhaps not have a hero known as Ratchet. I mean, crazy, right? There is this theory going on that Caden might be alive. I did make a video in the past. Maybe you want to see it. I don't know. Now, I keep saying, who raised Ratchet? Who raised him? Or more specifically, who gave him the name Ratchet? Ratchet is not his true name. And apparently, Tachyon knew his true name. But something tells me, hmm, he was using that as bait. I'm not sure if he actually knew his true name, but maybe he did. I mean, look, if he knew Ratchet's real name, he would have said it the moment he he met Ratchet in Metropolis. Him saying to Ratchet, I know your real name, was a way of try and getting out of that situation in Tools of Destruction. Like, if you get rid of me, you'll never know what your true name is. So back to the question, who raised Ratchet? He couldn't raise himself, unless he had this robot nanny, which was also sent with him, thanks to Caden. Imagine that, a robot nanny, this whole time. I don't think it's the Zoni. If that were true, Ratchet would have remembered the Zoni in Tools of Destruction. The Technomites. No, the Technomites didn't raise Ratchet, that's not what I mean. And by the way, yes, Size Matters is canon according to Insomnia Games. Let's not start a debate right now, alright? Ratchet said the Technomites it was just this fairy tale, told to kids. A story about how technology works. Either he looked it up, people calling it fake, it's just a fairy tale, or maybe he had a foster parent who told him the story of the Technomites. And the reimagining. They came up with Grimroth. Well, actually, it's due to the movie. And then we got a game based off the movie. Did Grimroth exist in the classic Ratchet and Clank, but died afterwards? That makes a lot of sense. I mean, I just can't see Ratchet raising himself. He was very young when he was sent to Velden. Someone found him and took care of him until they got sick and passed away. And if Grimroth did exist, that would mean the resort owner on Pokitar would be Grimroth's brother. So so what if the next game showed Ratchet Young on Velden to show who took care of him until his teenage years? I mean, Ratchet is confirmed 17 in the first game. Did Grimroth, a classic version of Grimroth, raise Ratchet until maybe 15? All I'm trying to say is someone was on Velden, took care of Ratchet, and called him Ratchet. But the thing is, if they do bring Grimroth into this story, it will confuse the new community. The people who just got into Ratchet and Clank thanks to the PS4 game. They're going to see Grimroth and be like, uh, okay, isn't this dude supposed to be alive? What's going on? Wait, isn't this a continuation to the reimagining? What? You know, all that kind of stuff. So if they decide to show young Ratchet, assuming they're going with the old timeline, do you think they're going to show us who raised them until a certain point? Who was his mentor in the classic game? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below, and yep, with that being said, this is it for the video, so I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. So other than that, I pretty much have nothing else to say. So as usual, I've been Vivi, and thank you so much for watching.